Hello everyone, it's May here and I want to share with you guys how to use the DecoFund bow maker um, that we have available in our website craftingonabudgetstore.com and this bow maker is about the easiest bow maker I have found that creates beautiful bows in a matter of seconds and I kid you not it is so super easy now I've tried other bow makers I did not like the moving around of all the little pegs and the dowels and it was just too complex now this one has these two plastic dowels and then you see all these little um, holes here and this is for the uh, sizes of the bow now depending on the size of the bow that's how um, you would want to place your plastic dowels if you want a small you're gonna go this way if you want the next size up and so forth and so forth so for this one here I'm gonna go with the first two and may, make sure that they are both even dowels so if you're gonna put it on the first hole make sure they're first they're both on the first hole um, if you're going to do it on the second one, make sure they're both on the second one. So we're going to go ahead with the first one. It's about the size that I always use on mine. Now, you can use any type of um, ribbon or lace that you want for this. I like to use Sari ribbon, and um, of course this one's been around for forever. I think I got that from eBay. And you can use yarn. You can also use lace. Flat laces are really good for this. Um, you can use that. You can use wire ribbon. I don't have any of that stuff, but you can certainly use that. Now, what I like to do is I like to let you envision that this is a headband because it looks like a headband to me. It looks almost like the shape of a headband. And so what I always tell people is imagine that this is a headband and you have two of them and then you have this little piece here in the center and of course your plastic dowels I like to cut a piece of ribbon um, and it doesn't matter what size it's it's just to tie the center or um, a piece of yarn whatever you want to use this is the tie back okay place it in the center like so you can take a piece of tape and hold it down if you want and um, that way it kind of that stays in place so just go ahead and put a piece of tape there, or you can use washi tape, whatever you have, it doesn't matter. Then I always do random, random laces and stuff like that, just to make my crazy bows. Here I have a wash, um, washi, <clears throat> seam binding, piece of yarn, and of course a flat, two flat trims or lace. those together I have, about a, I have about a yard I would say it depends on how um, how big of a bow you want how many loops you want I typically do a couple loops um, because I like to make my bows a little bit big and crazy um, but that's all entirely up to you so here's my left hand over here with the blue nail <laughs> and then over here of course is my right hand and then, of course, like I said, this is the two headbands. What you're going to do is you're going to take um, on your left hand, you're going to take your ribbon that's all sandwiched together. Of course, you can use you can do single ribbon as well. It all, it all depends on your personal taste. Okay, so take the one that's on your left and the one that's on your right. Take the right and put it between all of it between the two headbands so you see that between my two headbands and I'm left with a tail like so let me move my like so okay and you could of course adjust this however you want now grab your right hand remember um, my blue nail that's almost chipping that's my left hand okay so take your right and here's this plastic dowel you're gonna wrap the ribbon around that plastic dowel, right? I'm gonna go ahead, I have this magnetic strip. I'm gonna go ahead and put that down like that to hold that down. Um, typically you wanna hold that down 
Um, so take, but I'm trying to show you how I go around. So take the right, go around this plastic dowel, around. All of it has to go around the plastic dowel. You see that? It went over and around. Now here's the two headbands. Go between, put it all between the two pieces of headbands. So you see how that is? It's all wrapped around the plastic dowel between the two headbands. And then you're going to bring it back over behind this plastic dowel. So let's bring it up. So it's behind this one and behind the one on the left. Wrap it to the front of the left dowel and go between your headband again. So it looks like a crisscross in there. Okay? And bring it to the front. Now that's one loop. That's one loop only. Now you can adjust the, make sure everything's, you know, adjusted to size and you can go again a second loop so again you go around that dowel the one on the right all of it between the two headbands so behind the dowel between the two headbands behind this dowel so it's still between the two headbands behind the left dowel and then bring it to the front and go between the two headbands again and bring it to the front like so. Now again, you can adjust your tails however you want or you can go around another time and I'm gonna you know, stretch it out, kinda tighten it up, go around, I'll do a third one. Again, behind the right dowel, between the two headbands, behind the left dowel, between bring it to the front and between the two headbands. Now notice that I'm a little short tailed here. Now I'm going to move this magnet and I am going to just carefully bring it all down, sandwich it all down, push it all down. And as you're doing that, you can somewhat get it to get it to be the same length, the tails to be the same length. So it'll look like this. See, you have this one to the front here. And this has to be to the front. You see that? It's all around the dowels, covering it front and back, and in between, in between the two headbands. See that? It's between the two headbands. Not behind the headbands, not in front of the headbands. Everything is sandwiched in between the two headbands. Now, with that piece of ribbon that we have taped down, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to remove that. And then I'm going to take my little strip here and I'm going to tie it together. And make another knot. And that's my little crazy bows. You can make tassels out of this and then you can slide it out. If it slides out, that means you did it the right way. That means you went around the dowels and the headbands the right way. If it slides down, out. Okay, so here's a small one. has three loops. Here's one, here's two, here's three. And I have the same amount on each side. So what you do on one side, you have to do it on the other side. So I'm going to do it again. Here's another one. They're all sandwiched together. Grab them and get them all together aligned. Okay, and let's do this again. So again, here's my left. I'm gonna wrap it to between the two headbands and bring my tails to the front. Okay, right there. Take my right, wrap it around that that first dowel on the right hand side in between in between the headbands okay around the left dowel bring it to the front and between the two headbands so you're wrapping it around okay that's one loop okay one loop bring it down remember I can control the length of my tails by pulling okay go again uh, around 
the right dowel between the headband, behind the left dowel, wrap it around between the headband, and bring it to the front. Now that's two loops. Okay, now I forgot to put this one here, and that's okay if you forget. All you do is, see that right there? Lift it, take your finger, run your little piece underneath there, pull it to the back, and look. That's all you have to do. Just slide it underneath all that, and then tie it. And I want to make sure that my, my tails here are kind of somewhat uniform, so I'm going to go ahead and center it there. Okay, remember, if you can slide it off, that means you've got it. Okay, so that has two loops. I typically leave those little tails there like that. It gives it uniqueness. And you can trim this off if you want. Now, what I was saying, if you have a problem, let me see something that's kind of... If you have a problem lifting it off, it's because you wrapped it around wrong. So, for instance, if you put it in and you go around the back of the headband behind, see that's behind the headband, and back to the middle, and again behind the headbands and back to the middle. What's going to happen is that you're not going to be able to lift it out. I'm going to cut this off here. Watch. You won't be able to lift it out because it's going to be so stuck in there. Okay, so watch. It got tied. See that? Because it, it's wrapped around wrong. So if you have that problem, just, just get it out of the rod and redo it again. If you're doing it where it's going behind the rod, it'll lock up. It's not going to do what it needs to do. It has to go around the rod between the headband, always behind the rod and like a zigzag. Okay, round, between, around, front, and between. Okay, it's just that simple. And you can make your bows however you want. One bow, um, one ribbon, two ribbon, however many you want. I typically use a couple and I use different um, textures and um, laces and stuff like that to make my crazy bows. So I hope that helped you understand the bow maker a little bit better. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Till next time, guys. Bye.